Hi, today's story is all about monsters. We've got a special guest today. This is my baby monster. Baby monster is going to be part of a special audience. Say hi, everybody. Can you wave? Can you blow a kiss? That's good. There. Baby monster loves kisses and he loves his other monster friends. So he's going to go sit with them to listen to stories just like you're doing. And we're going to get started. Let me put him over with his friends. I'll show them to you. All right. There's baby monster and all my library monster friends. I hope you're all ready to hear some good monster stories. We're ready for the first one right now. Our first story that I'm going to read to you today is Where the Wild Things Are. The story in the pictures are by, by Maurice Sendak. It is a children's classic. And I'll be reading it to you and sharing it with permission from Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. His mother called him wild thing and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night, in Max's room, a forest grew and grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max. And he sailed off through night and day and in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and they gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still. And he tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So... He gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh no, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. 
The wild things roared their terrible roars, and they gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and sailed away. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Where the Wild Things Are has always been one of my favorite picture books ever since I was little. So is Go Away, Good Big Green Monster. And I love Leonardo the Terrible Monster. Leonardo the Terrible Monster and the book Where the Wild Things Are are available at your house on your computer or your iPad. The library has an app called Hoopla and these books and movies made from the books, you can watch at home and listen to any time you want with never any waiting list. So go to the App Store, download Hoopla, add in your library card number, and then you could read Leonardo the Terrible Monster by Mo Willems. If you like Elephant and Piggy books or the Knuffle Bunny, you'll love this. Another one of my favorites is Go Away, Big Green Monster by Ed Emberley. I've got a puppet friend with me today so that we can tell that story. Big Green Monster has a big, scary green face with two big yellow eyes and a long, bluish greenish nose and two little squiggly ears and purple little purple scraggly hair and a big red mouth with sharp white teeth You don't scare me, big green monster. So, go away, purple scraggly hair. And go away, two little squiggly ears. Go away, long bluish greenish nose. And go away, two big yellow eyes. And go away, big red mouth and sharp white teeth. Go away, big green monster. And don't come back until I say so. If you like that story, I've got to tell you about an app that you can find on the Apple Store. I believe it's also on store uh, the yeah. I want to tell you about an app that you will love. There is an app called Go Away Big Green Monster, and you can hear the author, Ed Emberley, read the story. You can hear him do the story in his own words, and you even can hear his daughter sing the story as a song. It is really fun, uh, just a few dollars, and it's money well spent. I'm not always a fan of book apps for small children, but this one I heartily recommend. All right, everybody up. It's time to be monsters. We're gonna sing head and shoulders and knees and toes except for monsters. So it's horns and fangs and knees and claws. All right, we'll start off slow, then we're gonna get faster. Put your horns up. 
horns and fangs and knees and claws, knees and claws. Horns and fangs and knees and claws, knees and claws. Eyes and ears and tail and paws, horns and fangs and knees and claws, knees and claws. All right, now we're gonna go faster. This is sort of the regular speed. Ready? Here we go. Horns and fangs and knees and claws, knees and claws. Horns, fangs and knees and claws, knees and claws. Eyes and ears and tail and paws. Horns and fangs and knees and claws, knees and claws. Now the idea with this song is to go faster and faster and faster until all the little monsters fall over under their tails. Let's see if we can go really fast. Horns up, here we go. Horns and fangs and knees and claws, knees and claws. Horns, fangs and knees and claws, knees and claws. Eyes and ears and mouth and tail and paws. Horns and fangs and knees and claws, knees and claws. All right, that's my exercise program for today. Thanks for playing with me, little monsters. Great job. Just in case you ever worry about monsters in your house, I want to show you what I do at my house whenever I worry about monsters. For instance, let's say I'm worried that the big green monster won't go away. That's when I get out my monster spray. Just a few squirts and whoo, all the monsters have to run away and leave the house. And they, oh, they can't come back. It says, it says, Hold bottle, spray directly at monster or in the direction of where a monster could be hiding. And upon contact, monsters vanish immediately. You probably don't have monsters in your house, but just in case. Thanks for listening to Storytime this week. We'll be back next week with stories of giants and dragons and all kinds of wonderful things from Miss Debbie. Bye for now.